Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world phenomenon known as Hexit 1.12. Where today, guys, we are going to uh, be finishing up our house renovations, kind of getting close to being done. I did quite a bit of off work or off camera work. And we're also uh, going to be checking out this outside area today. So, yeah, welcome back, welcome back. Um, I went ahead and got a ton of logs for this project just because I know we're going to need it. And it's kind of just pointless, you know, to do it without. Um, I thought it was actually kind of dumb. <clears throat> but welcome back, guys. How have you all been? I have been doing pretty well. Um, school has been kicking my butt, though, so haven't been posting. Uh, or actually recording videos very often. I usually post like Is there a way to zoom in on your map? Like that? No. Uh, but uh, I've been I've been really busy recently guys uh, with school and just just with everything it uh, it kind of kind of just sucks Because um, I, I love posting videos for you guys and Moved it out by one. So yeah, but uh, you guys know. You guys know how I am. School first, video gaming second. And uh, it's actually been helping me out quite a bit by putting it like that. Um, so what we're doing now is kind of just we're, we're expanding how this this thing looks here just for the sole purpose of uh, accessibility. <laughs> oh, poo. Didn't want to break that, but whatever. So, something like this with uh, Sakura. Sakura? I still don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, works out really well. <clears throat> yeah, but anyways, guys, welcome back to the series. Just, yeah, I've kind of been in almost like a rut of recording. Uh, I haven't really had much inspiration to record or uh, to even really play Minecraft recently. But uh, I finally got back on the train. I've been playing it uh, quite a bit today. And I uh, decided, you know what? Let's post a video. Let's let's record and let's post a video. So, it's, it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. But uh, it just takes a lot type of stuff you know and it's just it sometimes gets so to a point of so rough that uh, that you don't even really know what to do so to speak uh, but it's fine you know if you guys are enjoying the series as much as I think you guys are enjoying the series um, it, it's all worth it in the end so it's all good it's all good. Um, but yeah, what we're doing right now is I'm putting a roof on my castle. Because we've been so long without a roof. So long without the protection that we've needed. Uh, and I decided, you know what? It's finally the time. Just put a roof in. So that's what we're doing here. It's, it's a simple roof. You know, it's just slabs and putting them on top of something, but it's it's a nice looking roof, it's good, uh, I don't see any problem with it, and I hope you guys don't see any problem with it either, right. so like that, and we'll go ahead and just, I guess, carry it on down, like a soul. Um, so I want to know how you guys are. Uh, I speak a lot about myself in these type of videos, but uh, I don't know how you guys are. How's school going? You know, any problems you guys are facing? Tell me about yourselves. I would absolutely love to know. So I don't really, or I don't really hear from you guys anymore as much as I used to in the past, and uh, I kind of miss that. So tell me how you guys are. Tell me what's going on in your life. Tell me, you know. 
kind of what's up, so to speak. Because <clears throat> I would absolutely love to know. And uh, grow that, grow that friend, almost friendship base back with you guys. Uh, when I used to live stream a lot on YouTube, I had that base. Then when I went over to Twitch, just because YouTube kept messing a lot of things up for me, uh, I kind of, I kind of lost. I kind of lost that little base that I had with you guys, and uh, I kind of want to get it back. So, if you guys uh, have any, you know, questions or comments, please, please feel free to share. Um, what we're doing right here is we're just uh, growing the grass in, just to make it look pretty and everything. If you guys uh, didn't catch that. <clears throat> so the most important part for a roof is hands down right here um, actually I just thought I, I thought I just saw mom uh, and the reason I say this is the most important part is I get a lot of mobs that you know jump down I've actually I actually had a creeper below up in here uh, but I got but I get a lot of mobs that jump down and like try and kill me and uh, if I didn't and they usually jump down like right here. So it's kind of just a matter of protection number one and number two. I was just getting annoyed of having to fix everything that the creeper did. Um, but I think our new renovated house, a little bit bigger of a house, is coming along and looking really, really nice. Um, if you guys want me, I can put the link to this, uh, this this mod pack in the description down below, uh, so you guys can you know check it out, play around with it. Uh, I can also do I believe just this a seed. There's the seed for you guys. So if you guys want to check it out and play, you guys are more than welcome to. It's the seed right there. <clears throat> just pause the video. Uh, but now it's time to show you guys what I have done on the outside of the house. Because uh, you guys have already seen me, you know, running around, doing the inside. It's time to see the outside. Uh, so first thing I did is I went massive maple maple log hunting. And you guys can see I still got quite a bit left. Uh, and we, we went and put all of this maple down. Is it just gorgeous? You know, I love, I love this maple wood. I think it's so nice comes all the way up here we got the we put some sakura wood down uh this won't be chopped down just because it's for you know details and all that uh we put some sakura leaves all along the front um i can actually put more if i want to which i might uh in the near future so we put in this beautiful beautiful maple pathways uh we kind of are trying to fix up this pathway a little bit better um I didn't do anything in here yet. <laughs> uh, this will probably be just an off-camera project, just because we gotta get supplies and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it's turning out. I think it's looking really, really nice, really sharp. Um, so yeah, that's how that's all working out. It's pretty good. Um, but what we want to do is I actually want to head over to the Twilight Forest. Yeah, yeah. You guys may be like, wait, why, why the Twilight Forest? Well, it's just been a little bit since we've gone over there. Uh, and I think it would be good to head back over there, see what's going on. Um, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, we got our thief armor here. It needs to be repaired soon. I don't know how to repair it. Maybe we, do we have any leather? Maybe we, if we try leather to repair it, because I would love uh, to repair this before we go. No, we just got a bunch of zombie flesh. Okay. Uh, wrong side. <laughs> I got, uh, I got like the furnaces and stuff set up now. I forgot I had that in there. Um, so, you know, it's, it's pretty useful. Uh, what can bread be used for? Glowing bread and glowing water that is made recipe. Okay. Uses. 
recipe. Okay. Alright, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. Here, real quick. Go ahead and throw all that off. Nothing to repair it. Okay. Um. <laughs> whatever. Uh, so we got our food. We got some leather. We got our axe. Our axe got unbreaking three. I killed a, like a slime, I think it was. And it gave us unbreaking three. So, um, that's pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Pretty neat. Um, I really want to figure out what is going on with this stupid little journey map. Can we, can we zoom? Is there a way, like, to... To... Ooh. Oh, the forest, what? Give the quest room what it's missing. Okay. Defeat a spider in a hedge maze. Defeat a red cap goblin. Alright, but well, we've got... Hunt wildlife, Naga armor, slay the Naga in its forest, okay, and the Lich's tower, bring the Lich, and then the meat of the mushroom stew. And... Venture into a fire swamp, and then we want to kill... Okay, so it's a matter of, we need to find a stupid swamp. I'm sorry guys, I have to change this. It's, it's really annoying me. Is it journey map, I think? Has it... Map writer. Map zoom in. Map 8. Ah, beautiful. Much, much better. Um, so it shows something off here. I think, yeah, that's just the Lich Tower. I don't know what happened with our little map. Um, I also want to get some more venison, if that's possible. That's a dark forest. I really, I, I said I'd do research and I'm trying to find like a fire swamp. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Um, oh, let's venture off in this direction. Now that we have this armor, uh, it actually works out a lot better. I'm going to eat until we get crappy saturation. That's the reason I want venison, just because venison gives you amazing saturation and you don't have to worry about anything. This armor, though, is actually really, really good. Uh, is there anything down here? No. Just gotta make sure. For my... Uh, my sake. Uh, but we've been doing a lot of Twilight Exploring recently here, guys. Uh, and just the reason behind all the Twilight Exploring and, you know, all the boring stuff like this is we kind of want to get to know our Twilight better. And if we don't know where like fire swamps are or where any of that stuff is how can we go back and uh and defeat it at a later date so we know where actually quite a bit of stuff is it's just a matter of we need to find this stupid 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 fire swamp i don't think anything's off this way what are we coming to oh it's the snow i think there's something over here Locusts are extremely annoying. Oh yeah, look at that! Oh. What is this doing? Oh, it gives you slowness. Dang, okay. At least we can get some spruce with that. So I'm happy with that. At least we can get some logs. So we can't go this way, but we know it's there now. You see, and... That's what I'm most happy about, is just finding these stupid little places. <clears throat> Alright, Alright, well there's some mushroom stuff over here. I still... I still am not seeing the stupid little fire swamp. I mean... I actually don't ever like cutting my videos 
but I really might have to for this one. I mean, you know, we're not that far into the video. Wait, what is this purple thing? I've never seen a... I've never seen something like this before. I will take you. We need you. Oh, it's a purple. Okay, I was gonna say, it's like... I've never seen a purple, like, battle tower. Because that's... I was thinking it was like a battle tower. some venison his leg we'll get into some troublesome area is this a fire swamp uh, please be a fire swamp all right uh, uh. what is this ow no not a fire swamp Dang it. Thought we were getting close. Swamp! Guys, we found a fire swamp! <gasps> this episode was a lot more beneficial than any other episode. Look, is it a fire swamp? I think so. I really think this is a fire swamp. I mean, it's swamp ish. Yeah, it's definitely swampy and it has the huge really pets okay this is this is a fire swamp i think i really want to say this is a fire swamp or this is this might actually be a fire swamp you can jump on these right yeah you can do some some nice little bit of power cowl I definitely think this is a fire swamp. Or at least a swamp. I mean, we just need a blatte swamp. All right, I think we're getting to the fiery part. So, what I find or think is gonna be really, really difficult. Yeah, I think this is a fire swamp where everything turns red. Um, but what I think is gonna be really difficult is gonna be the Hydra. And we have to take that thing on. That's what I'm going to be most worried about. Yeah, this is definitely a fire swamp. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why did it catch us on fire? You! You! Ow, I was like... Stop, how are we on fire? That's the Hydra! Okay, um, what is this? This is Hexit Gear, okay. At Hexit Gear, okay. I don't know what this is all about. Um, to, okay, how do we make the chop stuff? Chop stuff takes a lot of bones. Scale, sage, okay. I have no idea what this is. Do we have to defeat the Minotaur first? Yep. 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 Cobalt. Nope. Die. Die. Notes on Fire Swamp. Okay. Fire is a trivial obstacle for a master explorer such as myself. I have traversed seas in fire and swam through oceans of lava. The burning air here is an interesting variation, but ultimately no hindrance. What does stop me though is that I've encountered another protection spell, this time surrounding a mighty creature that must be king of this fire swarm. This is not the first protection spell I have encountered, and I am beginning to unravel the mysteries of how they work. If this spell is like the others, it will be sustained by a powerful creature nearby. Surrounding the fire swamp are several wet swamps, and under those swamps are labyrinths full of minotaurs. The logical choice to bind such a spell to 
To bind such a spell to would be sort of powerful Minotaur. Okay, that makes sense. Different in some way from the others. Okay. So we can't get into the Fire Swamp unless we kill a Minotaur. And killing a Minotaur... A Minotaur, Minotaur, I don't know. But killing a Minotaur will unlock the Fire Swamp. And I believe it's actually on a hill? If I... If I am correct? Like, it's like a dome. Yeah, I think... I think this is right, what we're doing. I don't see a dome yet, so let's just... Let's just go, like, on the outside. I was saying, I'm actually really happy we found a swamp. And... I'll do slight research off camera. About, like, what we're actually looking for. Uh, to find the Minotaur. I think I know. I think it's actually, like, a dome. But I'm not 100% sure. I don't think we're gonna find it in this episode, and if we do find it, we're gonna do it in the next episode, of course. Uh, just for the fact that I'm kind of running, you know, a little bit short on time. But I'm, I'm really. Oh, I think I just saw. It. I think it's over here. I think it might be in these wet swamps. But that fire swamp, so we know, we at least know where the Hydra is now. I mean, and these things are massive. That's why I was kind of surprised that we didn't uh, find one in episode nine. I think it was episode nine. But uh, that, that's why I was kind of uh, surprised. It is. I think it's like a dome, but I can't. I can't be a hundred percent sure. But, you know, it's worth a worth a run around, worth a looky, look see. It's worth. Yeah, it's worth a run around. Um, just so we can get you know a feel of this thing, of this thing, of this place, of this world. Because we still have quite a bit we haven't explored yet. Alright. What? Yeah, we failed. So you guys are great at this game. I'm the king. Alright, so there's another Lich Castle. Uh, there's another little... Actually, have we ever seen one of these little huts? We've seen him. Um, so yeah, guys. I, um, we found the swamp. Really, really happy about that. We actually almost looped around the entire swamp. Um, I'm going to look for a minotaur. Hole. Ground. Castle. I don't know. Uh, I think it's actually like a hole in the ground on top of a mound. But uh, I can't be sure. Pretty big ravine. Oh, okay. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Hexit. And if so, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you guys want to stay up to date on all of my videos, and if you guys really like this uh, series or channel that I'm doing, yeah, it's these. Sorry, <laughs> this is this is the entrance to the library. Um. Uh, please be sure to subscribe. We're going to go ahead and venture into the labyrinth in the next episode, guys. So stay tuned. That should be posted on either Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, so either tomorrow or Wednesday. But I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.